Today we are going to talk about drug rashes. Firstly, erythema multiforme. Erythema multiforme is a hypersensitivity reaction that is most commonly triggered by infections. It may be divided into minor and major forms. Previously, it was thought that Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, was a severe form of erythema multiforme. They are now, however, considered as separate entities. Features Target lesions Initially seen on the back of the hand slash feet before spreading to the torso. Upper limbs are more commonly affected than the lower limbs. Pruritus is occasionally seen and is usually mild. Causes are Viruses like herpes simplex virus, the most common cause, or faster risk. Idiopathic. Bacteria like mycoplasma, streptococcus. Drugs like penicillin, sulfonamides, carbamazepine, allopurinol, NSAIDs, oral contraceptive pill, nevirapine. Connective tissue disease, for example, systemic lupus erythematosus. Sarcoidosis and malignancies. Next is Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Stevens-Johnson syndrome is a severe systemic reaction affecting the skin and mucosa that is almost always caused by a drug reaction. Previously, it was thought that Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, was a severe form of erythema multiforme. They are now, however, considered as separate entities. Features are having rash, which is typically maculopapular with target lesions being characteristic may develop into vesicles or bully. Mucosal involvement. Systemic symptoms, fever, arthralgia. Common drug causes are penicillin, sulfonamides, lamotrigine, carbamazepine, phenytoin, allopurinol, NSAIDs, oral contraceptive pill, management for SJS. Hospital admission is required for supportive treatment. Next drug rash would be toxic epidermal acrolysis. Toxic epidermal acrolysis, 10, is a potentially life-threatening skin disorder that is most commonly seen secondary to a drug reaction. In this condition, the skin develops a scalded appearance over an extensive area. Some authors consider 10 to be the severe end of a spectrum of skin disorders which includes erythema multiforme and Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Features Systemically unwell e.g. pyrexia, tachycardic Positive Nikolsky sign, the epidermis separates with mild lateral pressure Drugs known to induce 10 are Phenytoin Sulfonamides Allopurinol Penicillins Carbamazepine NSAIDs Management is Stop precipitating factor Supportive care often in an intensive care unit. Volume loss and electrolyte derangement are potential complications. Intravenous immunoglobulin has been shown to be effective and is now commonly used first line. Other treatment options include immunosuppressive agents, cyclosporin and cyclophosphamide, plasmapheresis.